Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace a blind slat. These are aluminum mini blinds and you will need to have the extra slats in hand to do this, but it's a pretty simple fix. A lot of people will just think it's easy. <laughs> Damn smoke alarm. A lot, of, a lot of technicians that I work with would just replace this, but these slats can be changed out pretty easily as long as you have them in hand. Let's jump right in. I like to mark the blind with the tape that I'm going to be replacing because I like to close the blinds on the ground and it's sometimes hard to tell which one is bent or broken. We've got our plastic tabs right here, one on each side. The way that I do this, flip it over, get a small um, flathead screwdriver and just kind of push it through. That one came through and that's gonna release the two strings that go in the front and the back. And then you got your string in the middle that is tied with a knot. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Just find the hole and then gently push the plastic piece through. The front and back strings will come loose. From here, we need to just untie this knot. I kind of twist and wiggle it to get the knot out of the... Do the same for the other side. And you can remove the plastic pieces. I'm gonna just now we can. I, what I do is these pieces are all good, so I'm gonna push these together until we get to the piece that we're gonna replace. Now I've got all these together. I'm gonna take my middle string, the one that is completely loose, and run it through. Here's the one we're gonna replace. This just slides out. Now, you can see we have very skinny strings, one here, one here. This is where the new one's gonna slide in. Make, make a note of which way the blind is facing. It does matter which way you put it in on uh, pretty much Every, any one you do, and you wanna make sure that it is between the two strings. I've done this before and hung them up to where it wasn't and it will look bad. Now we will just feed this string through all of, all of these. The string is kind of towards the right side of the supporting string. You can do this one at a time or you can bunch them all together and do it all at once depending on how high up you are. you get to the end, slide this through the hole, just like that. And we can go ahead and do the other side the same way. Now we have our string through. Here's our support on the front. And here's our support on the back. You wanna stick these strings, one on the bottom of the hole, towards the bottom, about a half inch in, and then same with the top of the hole, about a half inch in. And you wanna put our string right here through the hole, put our string back through the bracket, 
I grab it as close as possible and then twist. It seems to go in easiest that way. Tie a knot or a double knot if you want to be safe. Now we've got our supporting strings still in there. Sometimes you got to hold them, but this clip right here is going to put these two support strings in place. Just push down on it. Give it a little tug, not too hard. And just repeat the process for the other side. Grab it as close as possible and then just twist it in there. There we go, no more bent slats. If you're a homeowner, this may not be beneficial to you unless you've got extra slats laying around. If you are an apartment maintenance technician, this can be extremely useful and very cost effective, especially if your whole property uses the same kind of blind slats. Hope this was useful, hope you got something out of it. Let me know in the comments below, but until the next fix, I'm Dave, hope to see you there.